everyone. My name is Victoria. I'm the social media contributor at CORE, and we're continuing with our Meet the Contributor series, where we get to know up and close our contributors. And today we're with Olwa Shina. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your Web3 background? Hi, Victoria. Uh, thanks so much for having me here. Uh, my name is Olwa Shina Pita. I'm based in Nigeria. I joined the Web3 ecosystem uh, five years ago as a content marketer. And ever since I've worked on a couple of B2B and B2C projects uh, like Dash, Celo, we are led regional growth and support uh, local initiatives. And, uh, and the, before I joined Core in the last uh, one year, I founded a gaming and uh, education startup in Africa. Uh, so I kind of like have big expertise in launching products to market and uh, navigating the challenges that come with them. Okay, uh, thanks for that intro. And what do you contribute during Core? Yeah, so I recently joined Core. So I I lead all the African ecosystem activities. So uh, basically going to be onboarding key partners uh, to join the Core network, supporting builders and developers with the resources they need to build uh, successful dApps on the Core chain, and also kind of like being the touch point from between Core and the African ecosystem. So that's like a high level overview of what I do at Core. Awesome. And could you share with us your journey and what led you to become part of the Cordell team? Yeah, so I, I was actually reached out to by some of the contributors at Core. And uh, when I spoke to them, I was kind of like uh, starstruck about the level of experience that the contributors had and uh, the vision that they had of like onboarding Web2 people into Web3 using the Core network kind of like aligned with what I was already doing. So uh, I think that's kind of like gave me a uh, the signal that I really want to join this team and help contribute to the vision that they are building. So how do you approach challenges and problem solving within the dynamic environment of Cordell? I think the, the team has very, very experienced people. And uh, one thing I really appreciate about working at Core is everybody is super, super collaborative. And uh, I kind of like uh, enjoy the system whereby when there's like a very huge uh, block or challenge that we need to overcome, everybody just throws it out there and kind of like discuss it on the ground. So uh, I come from some backgrounds where uh, before you solve a problem or approve something, it takes about two months, but at core, everybody kind of like fix it as, as soon as it, as it comes. So I like that approach. And uh, those are some of the ways I'm also approaching it myself. If I need any, problem, any help, or I'm stuck somewhere I can, I can uh, feel free to reach out to some of my colleagues and kind of like pick their brain on uh, what do they think? And I kind of like pick all those touch points and, you know, I solve the problem. And in what ways do you believe Cordao is pushing the boundaries of innovation in the blockchain space? Yeah, so I, I think uh, I, I like the Satoshi Plus consensus mechanism that uh, Core actually has. Uh, because Bitcoin is actually uh, the first uh, cryptocurrency and uh, it's actually one of the few projects that has stuck to its original mission of like, you know, providing that decentralized financial system for people. I, I think core leveraging Bitcoin technology and the EVM compatibility that allows uh, developers to also build. So combining those two uh, is actually something I've not really seen in, in, the, in the industry. And I, I think that gives people who are going to build on core, it, it's sort of like leverage and that, uh, that credibility and trust that, you know, this is a chain that is gonna be here for a long time and it's gonna support everything that they do. So. I think that's one of the ways that Core is actually pushing that uh, boundary. Awesome. And could you describe the collaborative culture at Core and how it contributes to the project's success? Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, everybody is super, super, super uh, willing to help. Uh, I mean, we all have a single goal of how do we use the Core technology, the Core network? How do we leverage this to onboard people from the traditional Web2 world into the Web3 world? So I think with that single vision that everybody has in mind, so everybody's contributing both on the engineering side, marketing side, BD side, uh, re regardless of each, everyone's domain, we all have that single mission. And um, I think that's something really, really interesting that I actually love about uh, the core ecosystem. And what do you think sets Corda apart from other projects in the blockchain ecosystem? I would say probably two, two or three things actually. Um, so the first one is the Satoshi Plus consensus mechanism I mentioned earlier. It's it's one of a kind combining a POS system and a, a proof of stake and proof of work to actually uh, provide security uh, to the core network is super, super amazing. And I think the second one is the vision, like I mentioned, uh, a lot of the um, core is actually one of the 
networks that is actually focused on onboarding traditional people into Web3. Yeah? So, uh, and I, I think in the coming uh, months, we're going to be seeing lots of dApps uh, solving real problems in the, uh, in, and real use cases on, on the core network. And I think thirdly, uh, core is actually willing to support anyone who is building on, on willing to build on core, giving providing the resources they need. Uh, so I, I think those three things actually set core apart from uh, other blockchains in the ecosystem. Okay, and something about you. How do you stay updated and informed about the latest trends in the blockchain and how does this knowledge influence your work at core? <laughs> well, I think like like any crypto person, Twitter is probably the first place uh, to get a lot of the information. So I use Twitter a lot, stay up to date. And I think secondly, I belong to a couple of communities on Telegram, Slack, uh, WhatsApp, um, because I used to be a startup founder myself. So I, I have a couple of groups where I, I discuss things with other founders. Everybody contributes us in the Web3 ecosystem. Uh, so, and, and I think the fun thing is uh, everybody kind of like brings their own perspective uh, into this discussion. So I'm able to learn about what's happening. People are working probably other chains as well, kind of like share what's happening in their own ecosystem as well. And I'm, with that, I'm able to stay up to date and also learn from people's perspective. So I would say Twitter and uh, communities is quite important. The last one, looking into the future, what exciting developments can the community expect from CoreDAO and how can they get involved? Yeah, so uh, I think in a couple of months, uh, Core is going to be going aggressive on onboarding dApps uh, into the ecosystem. So uh, I think the community can expect a lot of dApps uh, and in the African market as well, uh, we are going to be providing resources uh, to local builders, uh, onboarding them to build uh, real real life dApps that can actually solve problem in their local communities, uh, because there's just so much problems that Web3 can solve in, in Africa. Uh, so in my own domain, uh, I can guarantee like uh, we're going to be seeing lots of activities in the African markets and uh, lots of dApps coming out from, from the African markets. So, and how to get involved, we will share uh, some announcements pretty soon, uh, especially in the African market of how developers and builders can get uh, involved in the core ecosystem. I think Victoria will probably share that on social media as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think everybody should anticipate all of this uh, exciting new uh, developments is gonna be coming. Okay, thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you for taking your time to have this uh, little interview with me. Definitely, yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.